assistance dogs aren't just the ears, hands, and legs of their human partner. Many times, they're also their best friends. Best friends couldn't have hmm. said it any better. Our Joey Taylor joins us from Helena with a new program at Carroll College that's raising and training puppies to be service dogs. Sit, lay down, stay. All typical commands you would teach a dog. But Collar Scholars isn't just training these puppies for fun. These pups have big futures as assistance dogs. And the volunteers are working by the canine companion motto. Raise a puppy, change a life. Phil, shake. And for about 18 to 22 months, that puppy raiser will train the dog over 30 commands that will help their person in the future. Founded in November, Collar Scholars is helping support volunteer puppy raisers, saying the more puppies that are raised means the more lives that can be given independence. So some of them alert to somebody who is deaf to different noises in the environment. For people with PTSD, they do some nightmare interruption for them if they're having a nightmare. Um, and the wheelchair assistance dogs, they can assist with those opening doors and turning on lights and such. Right now, this is the first club of its kind in Montana, and there are eight dogs on campus. When you have the puppy, every single day you're learning something new, and it's either about yourself or the puppy that you have. Collar scholars tell me the college environment is a great place to raise puppies because they get to show the dogs what everyday life could look like. And it helps prepare them to settle for long hours because they sit through our classes and they sit in the library with us while we study. They also get used to the dining hall and kind of really crowded areas where students are really excited to see them, so they get to practice ignoring them. Students tell me it's an emotional journey and goodbye, but it's worth it. Knowing that our dog could go ahead and change somebody's life is pretty incredible. And seeing a puppy that you raised from like a wiggly, loud little puppy to a grown-up dog who's really providing independence for someone that needs it, uh, really makes it worth it for that goodbye. At the end of their training here, they're going to go to Canine Companions in California where they'll get a little more training, turning those 30 commands into over 50 skills to help them become the best assistance dog they can be before being placed with someone. Phil, speak. <coughs> Quiet. In Helena, I'm Joey Taylor, Montana, right now.